Okay. <clears throat> Hi, everybody. I'm going to do an unboxing from the very beginning here of my MacBook Air. And this is the box is shipped in. It's shipped uh, directly from China. And uh, as you can see, got the MacBook Air. It is the midnight color version. So there you go. It looks really slick. Um, yeah, so as usual, you know how I love Mac boxing. Uh, I should say Apple products boxing. So yeah, just some, let's see, just some specs here. Eight gigabytes, 256 gigabyte RAM. I mean, uh, storage, an eight gigabyte RAM. 13 inch MacBook with Apple M3 chip. So, yep, these are the specs, and this is what I'm going to be unboxing and then reviewing today. Uh, let's see here. So, yep, just take these off. And we'll be, be ready to unbox here. Oh, yeah. So, this is going to be a beauty. Um, I can see it ready. Let me just get this out. Okay. Cool. So, yeah, it does come with charger. And it comes with a charging cable. This is the new connector, the new old connector. So, as you can see, this one is the, I forget what it's called, like MagSafe or something. Maybe not MagSafe. Yeah, I think it's MagSafe, magnetic one. That detaches automatically if you, you know, trip over the cords. It's just a quick detach. But uh, yeah, this was this is one of my old MacBooks. I had this connector. So it was really nice. Okay, so here's the actual MacBook Air. Oh wow, that color is really sweet. I love it. I love the color. It's really, it's a very dark blue, um, but it's really a nice color. And I think this one's actually, this one's actually a little bit better with the fingerprints. I think the first one was really not good with the fingerprints. Okay, here we go. And there we go, let's start it up. Raise this up a little bit. How do I get this off? This does not come off easy. Hmm. Here we go. Okay. So that's it. This is the new MacBook Air M3 Midnight Color. Um, when it boots up, you can see the Apple logo, very sweet. I think it's about as thin as my other one. It's got the uh, two um, USB-C connectors and then this MagSafe charger connector. And this side has the, just the headphone jack. So pretty simple. Looks like it's gonna be a really nice, uh, nice MacBook. So I'm looking forward to starting to use it and getting it set up. I'll do another video in just a couple minutes and uh, show you what it's all about. Thanks so much for watching, and uh, please like and subscribe. Okay, so let's go to ahead and get English this the main start language. up. Press the return key. I'll press the return key. Yeah, it's gonna United States. Yes. Oh, I got to get there. Continue here. Continue, not now, 
Yeah, I'll set up my network. Just pause it for right now. Hold on one second. So yeah, it looks like it wants to do a software update. So I'll go ahead and might as well update it now. The latest version, continue. And uh, that'll probably take some time to install. So I'll pause the video again and we'll continue in a bit. So the migration is complete. I'll just continue now. Uh, I migrated from my other old MacBook here to my new one. So I'll just select done. So this is my MacBook. Um, again, this is the midnight blue color. Very nice. I'm not sure if you can actually catch the color scheme really well, but I really like the color. Um, it's not all that different from my other MacBook Air. However, it is an M3, so it's a better chip. I, last one I had was an M1. And it's got the head port, uh, headphone port on this side. As you can see, it's got one headphone port. And the other side, it's got the MagSafe charging that goes right into that last slot. And then the USB-C ports as well. Uh, another thing I really like about it is the keyboard. These keys are raised much higher than my previous uh, laptop. So this other MacBook, uh, they seem like they're more flush. So I like these keys better. Um, overall, really love the fit and finish of it. Beautiful color. Um, just, uh, it's got these pads here, so I really like it a lot and uh, hopefully I can keep it for many years and I think it's gonna work for me pretty well. I actually like it better than an iPad. I don't really use iPads that much. I want something with a keyboard and if I have an iPad, I don't wanna buy a separate keyboard, so. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this video, uh, please uh, like and subscribe.